And we are set to go with our second fight of the evening. This one in the middleweight division. It features Yevgen Hitrov trying to keep his record perfect against unbeaten Aaron Coley. All right. All right, so Yevgen Hitrov cut from the same cloth as Sergei uh, Derevnyochin. How did I do with that? <laughs> Who we just well. saw. <laughs> Good straight left hand yeah. there. Bottom with the left hand. I think that long range, that distance is bothering Heatrop a little bit, but there's a counter right hand. They came in here with an idea of how, what he needs to do. There was a good right hand. That's a game changer right there. But, and Heatrop also showing that he can learn because he got hit with a couple of left hands. And the third time, Coley threw the left hand, Heatrop landed that right. And Coley is starting to feel Heatrop's power here. That one a little bit short from Heatrop. Then the fight would be over, so he's got to hurry up and be smart about it. He's on the gas a little bit more here in round two. Action from round two. The left hand misses. He almost suckered Coley into throwing that left hand because he was waiting for the counter right. He knew that if he stepped in, he'd be within range. One game, he's got a 6 point uh, Good right hand there from Heatrop. And Heatruff, by the way, is not listening to Gary Stark because he's not jabbing his way in. There was a combination. A short right hand got Coley's attention. Wild left misses, oh. but right hand scores. Biggest punch of the fight from Heatruff. All right. Action from round three. Late in the round, another counter punch by Heatruff. But all power punches are not alike. So Heatruff's are much harder. From Heatrop. There's a double jab. He's missing a lot, though. Yeah, he is. Missed with the uppercut. I'm going to play 32. Not that Raul would ever have done uh, no, it. No, of course no, no. not. Our, our, our Raul. You know, he just, if you follow on a guy, he's plotting too much. There it is. He comes underneath oh, with the right. The effects of Heatrop's shots is putting hurt. He's numb in his body. He's got power. See what I'm talking about? That's exactly nice little angle there. Start from the bottom, they go up to the head. There was a oh, good nice. right hand. Good solid right hand. But Coley didn't take a backward step. Wild right hand missed. And Coley's not holding on too much. Why? Because he's busier with the shots, Heatrop. He's a lot right speed. hand there from Heatrop. You see the percentages are close. Oh. Heatrop's he thrown so he many more shots. Hit him with a right hand there. That was a good right hand by Coley. Now, what if Coley had some power? Well, not, I mean, Hitrop yeah. he, he did not take a backward step with that shot. There's a right hand from Hitrop. There, he's not going to Yeah, that, pure. Oh, good left hand. That hurt Coley. Coley back against the ropes. Now we'll see. He's his right hand. He's going to get caught again. He still has the presence of mind, though, to be a little slippery. Yeah, there's another good right hand. He's got the paralysis of man, this guy. He's a monster. Straight reaches and just push him off. That's what I'm talking about. Right there, real busy. Right, last round. Eighth and final round. They touch gloves in the center of the ring, and here we go. Heatrop trying to keep that perfect record of knockouts in every fight that he's had. But Tall, lanky guys like that are awkward. And you, obviously he's figured them out, and he couldn't figure this guy out in eight rounds. Yeah, no, that's It exactly is a learning right. experience for Heatrop. I think Heatrop might be a little bit tired, too. A lot of arm swinging from Heatrop now. Coley again with a counter punch. And Coley's probably going to get more fights because of the way he conducted himself uh -oh. in this fight. Final five seconds of this fight. And Coley, it appears, is going to go the distance and be the first one to do that against Heatrop. That said, all right. we all here at least think an easy victory for Heatrop. Because he did take a battering to the body throughout the fight, and he lasted. But Heatrop defensively didn't look wonderful, granted against a kind of a tricky opponent, and offensively looked less than a beast. So he won almost every round, every round on my card, uh, but there's work to be done. And you didn't see a lot of left hooks. You saw more right hands. Not, not surprising against the southpaw. Hunting him down, Coley either grabbed or spun off the ropes most of the fight, made it a little more difficult for Heatrop. You see Coley constantly moving his body. And this 
fight was fought at a distance, at an arm's length, pretty much the whole way. Very little infighting. Coley Ward for holding a couple of times. There were no point deductions. It wouldn't have mattered if there were, or if there had been point deductions, because he dropped one very comfortably. All in favor of your winner, by unanimous decision, and still undefeated, Yevgen, the Ukrainian Lion, Heatron! So Yevgen Heatron is a winner, uh, and the judges saw it pretty much as we. Pretty much, they gave uh, one round, two of them gave one round to uh, Coley. One quick thought, Barry. In 2010, Derev Yanchenko fought Heatron in the Ukraine and beat him. Please, somebody, send me a tape of that fight. That would be, had to be a great fight. We're going to see both these guys again. The two Ukrainians really uh, showing themselves well tonight.